Oh, and welcome to my channel, Being In Out. Thank you so much for being with me here today. Today I'm doing a reading for the Aries Collective Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. And uh, do check the Aries placements in your chart. If you don't know where they are, there is information in the description box. There is a link that you can use to calculate that for you. Now, there have been some big, big readings this week. We left Leo season. We are in Virgo season. And we are also coming to the end of August. So what I have been led and guided to do is a reading for you to see what's this final week, give or take, in August for you. What's the energy? What do you need to know? What's coming towards you? So that's what we will be doing. Now, if you desire, personal readings have now closed, but if you desire to be on the wait list, just email me. Um, otherwise, if you'd like to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, or donate to my channel, all the information is in the description box. And if you are an OG, welcome back. So wonderful to have you here. Thank you so much for all your love support to myself and my channel. I truly, truly, truly appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. If you're new, I do Aries readings daily. So if a reading doesn't resonate, just head, head over to the videos tab. There might be some other reading that's more applicable for where you at. And I do one card pulls, which is in the short section of my channel. And we love to have fun in the community section. Alrighty. So what's the, this card wants to pop right out. Um, so what is coming towards Aries? What does Aries not see coming? <clears throat> the week ahead. Two cards want to come out. Guidance. Well, let's see. Advice. Oops. These this is supposed to be here. Outcome, oh, right? Let's see. Let's see. I will be pulling oracle cards at the end as well, so do stay till the end. Okay. So final week of August. So some of you, you have been working very, very hard on your finances, um, or will be working very, very hard regarding your finances in the final week of August. So maybe, maybe you are still waiting to see the fruits of your labor. Maybe you're waiting to hear regarding a job could be um, but what this is showing to me this is your overall energy is all about being patient being patient with your finances being patient with anything to do even business so if you say you're building a business and if you can't see financial rewards just yet this might be a week where you just need to be patient with yourself just need to be patient with the process and I know that Aries and patience in the same sentence is a bit of a contradiction but that's what this week is calling for so that's your overall energy by the way i love this i love the fact that your overall energy is the knight of pentacles but what's coming towards you is the wheel of fortune we know the wheel of fortune for me is the most prosperous card in the in the tarot deck let me hold it properly so with the wheel of fortune and the knight of pentacles so the knight is actually looking at the wheel of fortune this is really good energy aries this to me is saying that if you have been waiting patiently if you've been working on something that is going to come to fruition in this final week of august so it's almost like you're closing august off on a bang financially so financially this is going to be a great week for some of you um maybe if you've been waiting for job applications you might get a job maybe you'll start a job and you'll get your first pay for somebody I'm picking up. So a very, very abundant, wealthy and prosperous week to close out August. And what I also love is the wheel is Leo energy. And I know that um, we just closed out of the Leo season. But what this is showing to me, it's literally give or take a day, depending on when you're watching this reading, right? And the time zone you're in, because I'm in Australia. So what this is saying to me that whatever you've worked through in the Leo season, whatever you've worked through in August, and if you didn't see all the fruits of your labor, that is going to come to you before you close out August. So I am loving this energy for you, Aries. Now, in what you don't see coming, some of you are moving away. So as I said, you know, maybe you're moving away. So there are a few different storylines coming up here. 
So this could be a physical move for somebody. Maybe you're actually moving away, you're relocating. Um, because with the with these two cards, the Wheel of Fortune and the Six of Swords often can signify a si relocation, physical move, travel for somebody. So, you know, this could be you physically relocating because of job pentacles could be to do with a job could be to do with an opportunity which has been given to you with the wheel of fortune that's going to make bring a lot of financial wealth success and abundance to you um, the six of swords is also say if you have been waiting and working hard it could also be saying that the weight you're moving to karma shores so if you have been up and down financially or waiting for your pentacles then you're moving away from that situation into something that's more stable, more secure. So that's a great energy to be in Aries. Now the overall energy for this week, ah, oh, these two cards, I love it. So some of you, this final week is all about creativity. This final week is all about looking after your needs. A lot of you will feel just financially stable and independent, like you can take care of yourself and you can take care of your needs. A lot of you are also going to feel a spark of creativity if you're not already feeling that. So there may be things that you will be doing for fun with the Knight of Wands card. So I love this because look, she she is just carefree, having fun in her element. She's not care caring that her hair is going everywhere. She's not, you know, she's not focusing on how others perceive her. So this in combination is saying to me, this week, this final week is all about what makes you happy and you don't really care about other people, places and experiences, perception of how you're showing up or what you're doing. You're just focusing on the fact that if it's giving you joy, that's the primary, which is the way it should always be. So this is fantastic energy. Now in your guidance and advice, oh, we have the Seven of Pentacles and the Empress card. I love this. So with the Nine of Pentacles and, and um, the Empress card showing up as well in your reading, to me, this is a very, very abundant week, final week for a lot of you. So financially, you will feel very safe and secure. You will feel like you can take care of your needs. For some of you, with the Knight of Wands energy, you could be birthing something creative because see this empress she's actually pregnant so this energy here with the knight of wands and the empress could also mean a start of a creative venture or something that you're really passionate about and care for so i really love this but what i love most is this combination of the nine the nine of pentacles the wheel of fortune and the empress card to me, this combination right here is speaking volumes for for you. Because to me, this is the Empress. You've got two, ma two major arcanas. And it's almost like because of these major arcanas, you feel like the Nine of Pentacles. You feel like you're independent. You feel like you can take care of your needs. You are fully supported and taken care of. So this is really, really good energy right here. This final week is going to be very abundant, very prosperous. For some of you, I definitely see that you are going to be either starting a new job, getting a new job offer because of this Empress energy and the fact that she she looks pregnant in this card. So this is to me birthing something. This is something new. Could even be a new business, could even be a new creative venture with the Knight of Wands energy. I love that. Whatever this is, is going to give you is, is going to require you to nurture it. It's like, look at this card. He's nurturing and tending the garden. So whatever you're birthing, this is something that is going to give you ongoing results and ongoing financial rewards. Because the more you tend the garden, the more you water it, the more you look after it, the roots are going to get stronger and stronger and that's just going to result in more fruits of your labor, literally. And with the Empress card, that's what it's saying to me. So really, really beautiful, really, really powerful energy this final week. I mean, it's like you will be closing August on a bang, a major bang, because you've got the Wheel of Fortune, you've got the Nine of Pentacles, and you've got the Empress card. Your outcome, I mean, hello, another major arcana. So your outcome is the Magician. 
So Aries, the question I ask you is, what are you creating this week? What do you want to create or what is it that you desire to create in August? Before you close out August, how do you want to close out August essentially is what it's saying. Now I love this because we have the Empress card. We had the Wheel of Fortune first. I'm going to hold it such that you can see. I'm going to have the Empress card in the middle because she was the magician is your outcome. We start off we start your reading energy with the Wheel of Fortune and then we finish off with the Magician. So there's definitely something that you're creating be before you close out August. Aries is what I'm picking up. Whatever you're creating is going to result in a lot of abundance, prosperity and rewards for you. Whatever you have the ability to create the magic. That's what the final Magician card is saying. Now it's up to you. Are you going to create that magic? Are you going to turn the wheel? Because ultimately the wheel is only going to turn if you do something about it, if you create that magic. If you don't, it's almost like, are you going to let the opportunity pass you by or are you going to grab it with both hands so that you can be the empress, be in the empress energy of feeling abundant, have all your needs and wants taken care of. Be truly independent. The Nine of Pentacles. I mean, this is a brilliant reading. Whether you're moving home, whether you're moving, um, physically relocating. But I also feel like this move could also be you are leaving a career or a job and then you are working for yourself. That's also the change because magician is creating. So maybe in this context, you are creating your own business. You are creating your own financial stability and success. And whatever you're creating is will require steady work and commitment, but it's going to take you to this energy of the Empress and the Nine of Pentacles. So that is really beautiful, Aries. So I'm going to pull um, an abundance card. It's really interesting. I, I'm, I was like guided to work with this deck here. So hit that like button if you haven't already and um, do hit the notification bell if you if you want to see more readings coming out your way and you want to continue, want me to continue doing these amazing epic readings for you, Aries. But what an overall epic final week to end August. I mean, if you are still in the Nine of Pe Knight of Pentacles vibe, the other thing I just want to, before I go into the Oracle card, Spirit is saying, this need, I need to share this. Somebody needs to hear it don't lose faith don't lose faith if you can't see the fruits of your labor because with the knight of pentacles and the seven of pentacles maybe maybe you can't see it because the roots still need time to grow and become stronger before they can start bearing the fruits so somebody needs to hear this message about you know your patience and persistence is going to pay off so just go with it stay committed keep be consistent show up it's like me and this channel. I have, you know, I say I do Aries readings daily. So I show up, I record these readings, I do these readings for you daily. And I honor my commitment and my word to you. You know, whether or not I see growth, whether or not what's going on, I have to do, I have to stay committed to my channel because that's what, that's my creativity. That's my night of wands. And I love doing that. That's me creating, being the magician, using the tools, knowledge, resources, and getting those divine downloads and providing the information that spirit is channeling through to me and these beautiful cards that I get to share with you. So I, that, I'm just using this as an example. I feel like somebody else, maybe you want to start your YouTube channel. Maybe you want to start something on social media or online, and maybe you're moving away from a corporate job, and maybe you've already started to make that transition and you can't see all the financial rewards perhaps if that's the you know because each person looks at things differently for me for my youtube channel my what i look at is my number of subscribers am i getting comments number of views these are the things i look at if i'm not getting the views if my subscribers is not going up then that's a big indication that the whether or not the channel is working it's really that simple right and of course if you book private readings and if you donate to the channel all of that is further encouraging me to show up because that tells me you appreciate, you value what I have to offer, my creativity, 
what I'm creating and sharing with you. You know, that's just another deeper level of appreciation. I feel very, very grateful for it, you know. So I just needed to share that. So successful funding. So maybe that Knight of Pentacles is you waiting for funding. Maybe someone, this could be in a form of loan. It could be even you waiting for funding for your house if you're buying a house because we do have the Empress card. We have the Six of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. This could also be in business context if you've applied for a loan or if you think whether, as I said, there may be what you're looking to start or manifest because the Magician card is the manifestation card. Again, Aries energy. That is, you know, maybe, maybe there are grants available and you just don't know. So great, great time to look into all that detail, Aries. So your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave reality, Wheel of Fortune, and the Magician card. Crowdfunding, partnership, and other investments are available to you. Definitely. Maybe there is somebody who wants to, who doesn't have the time and would love to support you in your creativity and your passion by contributing financially. Maybe they don't have the time to devote to it, but they're passionate and would support you from resort from a financial resource perspective let's pull you some manifestation cards that's like half the deck aries for the last week of august anything else for aries for the last week of august oh this one's to pop out so the first card we have i only live with people i like six of swords wheel of fortune there is somebody definitely moving you could be actually this move could also be you moving in with a loved one. Maybe you are already in a relationship and you're moving in together. You might be taking the relationship to the next level. So that could also be. My purpose is to spend my time on my needs. Empress energy, nine of pentacles energy, the magician energy. So what, what is your need, Aries? What is your purpose? What is your need? Tell me in comments where where or or is that what's happening with the knight of pentacles you are maybe this message is for somebody you're not seeing the momentum you're not seeing the growth so you actually slowing down your efforts because you're like oh it's not worth you've kind of almost like given up don't do that because the wheel of fortune is there the empress is there the knight of pentacles the magician i mean there's so many good things happening the final one i drink water more often i know i need to so um, this final week, as you go, as you are go, 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 make sure that you are keeping hydrated, you looking after your health as well, because I know for me, when I'm doing these readings, I tend to forget to drink enough water. So I know after this video, I will be having a huge glass of water. So Aries, this is your final week in August. Wow, what a powerhouse, what a powerful reading so much abundance so much prosperity so much wealth surrounding you i mean you really can create whatever you want you're a powerful manifester i mean the magician card has popped up a lot in your readings recently and the empress card is making more and more of an appearance as well so there's a strong message here pay attention pay attention to the messages that are coming out to you pay attention to your inner guidance and nudges because maybe divine is leading you to this sources of funds but you're just not paying or listening so aries please do hit the like button if you haven't already thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here every single day without you i would not be doing this daily i would not be showing up as i am so thank you thank you thank you so appreciate you from the bottom of my heart hit that notification bell if you haven't already and if you'd like to connect with me on social media or donate, all the information is in the description box and I will see you next time.